Right now, several counties across Metro Atlanta are gearing up for the winter weather. CBS 46's Yasmina Alston joins me live in Cobb County where crews are already heading out. Yasmina? Yes, yeah, Savannah, we've been watching as Cobb County DOT trucks have been leaving from here to go and pre-treat the roads. They're going to be working from now until 6 in the morning, and then more crews come in to treat those roads as the winter weather moves in. This is, of course, something we'll be seeing from crews all over our area. We always prepare for the worst and hope for the best. That's what most counties are doing in preparation for winter weather from North Georgia to the metro. This could bring ice power lines um, down. We could be out of power for um, several days, so just be prepared. In Hall County, the EMA has been monitoring what's to come. They've also been staging equipment ready to go as the weather moves in. GDOT crews have been prepping highways, and in Cobb County, bridges and overpasses will be pre-treated. Hall County's EMA director says it's not just a one-time job ahead of the weather. As it, as it moves through the area, this will be multiple rounds of uh, treating, um, removing snow or ice, and then treating again, because as we all know, this is this is going to be an all day event on Sunday. Officials say the biggest concerns are ice on the roadways and down power lines and trees, which can make the job more difficult for crews. The biggest advice officials have is stay off the roads if you can. We'll respond to the uh, emergencies that the, that the citizens have. We just hope people will heed the, the warning and do their best to stay off the road unless they absolutely have to travel. So as you heard, it's going to be a long weekend for those crews working to make sure that we're safe. And I also want to note here in Cobb County, there were plans to give out COVID tests to residents on Monday. That, of course, will be postponed due to the winter weather coming in. Live in Cobb County, Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News. Yasmina, thank you so much.